If you're looking to use a VPN on your MetaQuest 2, there are a couple of effective ways to do it, even though the headset doesn't support VPN apps directly. A VPN, or virtual private network, helps you protect your privacy, encrypt your data, and even access apps or content that might be restricted in your region. One VPN that works really well with MetaQuest 2 is Surfshark. It's a popular VPN service known for its strong security features, fast speeds, and support for devices like routers and Windows PCs, which is exactly what we'll be using in this guide. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description where you can try Surfshark at a great price. Since you can't install a VPN app directly onto the Quest 2, the most practical solution is to either set it up on your home router or share a VPN connection from your computer. Let's start with the router method. When you install Surfshark on your router, every device connected to your Wi-Fi network, including the Quest 2, will automatically route through the VPN. That means your data will be encrypted and your IP address will reflect the VPN server location you've chosen. To do this, you'll need a router that supports VPN configuration. Not all routers do, so it's important to check compatibility. Once that's confirmed, Surfshark provides step-by-step -step guides on how to set it up based on your specific router model. After you've installed Surfshark on the router, you just connect your Quest 2 to Wi-Fi like you normally would and your traffic will be protected by the VPN. This method is simple and works consistently, but keep in mind that every device on your network will use the VPN connection and switching server locations requires logging into your router's settings. If router setup isn't an option, another method is to share your VPN connection from a Windows computer. This method requires a Windows computer with Surfshark VPN already installed and connected. Unfortunately, this won't work for Mac users, as macOS doesn't provide the necessary sharing options. The advantage of this method is clear. It's relatively easy to set up and very simple to manage, especially when changing VPN servers or making adjustments. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the steps using Surfshark VPN. Start by opening the network and internet settings on your Windows computer. From there, go to Mobile Hotspot and enable it by toggling the switch at the top. Then, click on Edit to name your hotspot and set a strong password. For example, name it Surfshark VPN to keep things organised. Be sure your password includes a mix of numbers, letters and symbols for security. After naming and securing your hotspot, click Save. Next, go to Control Panel and tap on Network and Internet and select Network and Sharing Center. On the left, click on Change Adapter Setting. A list of all network adapters will appear. Find the Mobile Hotspot Adapter. It should be labeled something like Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. Keep this in mind for a later step. A. Eh? Now locate Surfshark VPN adapter in the list. It may say something like Surfshark VPN tap adapter. Right-click it, go to Properties and open the Sharing tab. Check the box that allows other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. In the drop-down menu under Home Networking Connection, select the mobile hotspot you created earlier. Then click OK. Next, open the Surfshark VPN app and connect to a server. Make sure you're using the Open VPN protocol, which can be selected in the app's protocol settings. Once you're connected to your chosen VPN server, your hotspot will route traffic through that VPN location. Now that your VPN protected hotspot is active, go to the Wi-Fi settings on your MetaQuest 2 and connect to it. Once connected, your headset will use your computer's VPN connection, giving you encrypted traffic and a masked IP address. Using either of these two methods, you can get the full benefits of a VPN on your MetaQuest 2, including enhanced privacy, better security, and access to content that might not be available in your region. If you're interested in trying Surfshark at a great price, there's a link in the description where you can get started.